Alright guys, welcome back to another Planet Zoo episode. Today we're going to be building the Reticulated Giraffes enclosure. Um, this enclosure came out good, I get. I mean, I get, I keep doing the, kind of the same thing in every enclosure, and it sucks, but I, I, I don't know. I still think the whole zoo as a whole looks good. But, anyway, we're putting in the Knoll Barrier, um... So we have a general idea. I'm going to I'm doing this uh like notch here so that we could have the path go up and into the enclosure. Um but again, doing the knoll barrier first cuz it's easier to work with and then just replace it afterwards. But uh just throwing down the barrier. This shit took this the barrier figuring out the barrier and the hard shelter was probably the hardest part of this enclosure. Because the barrier, I just didn't know how I wanted to do the layout. Like, before I started filming, I kind of just thought about it for, like, probably 15, 20 minutes. Just trying a couple things, thinking about what I want to do. And then I ended up just doing this. Uh, it's an alright layout. It definitely could have been better. But it's it's a good layout for what we're doing right now. Especially because this zoo is very just kind of, let's say, uh, abstract in terms of the... Uh, the barriers and such uh right here too i kind of just fucked up uh but yeah i didn't know how to fix it oh so that's what happened there because i saw that this disappeared it not disappeared if i moved that fucking null barrier inwards a little more and with it would have fixed itself <sighs> yep that's the issue there if I move that null barrier off of that uh, pathway a little bit, it would have worked better. Right before this, too, I rehomed the last two of the African Wild Dogs. So that's actually going to be the next episode, is redoing that enclosure. Because I was going to do the lions first. I was going to wait on the giraffes, but the lions are very expensive. Like, I'm talking about, like, 1,200 conservation credits each. So I was like, I'm going to have to just wait, because I don't have near enough to get both of them. Because you need at least two lions. You need one female, one male. So, had no way near enough. Uh, even after going through all of our animals and releasing the ones to the wild that we can. Just no way near enough. Uh, and, you, yeah, so, but I don't know when we're going to be doing the the uh, African lions. Um, I want to do them, though. I really want to do them. And then put in the... Habitat gate, of course, uh, which I ended up fucking redoing this whole pathway anyway. But, yeah, it, um, I don't know. I kind of threw this whole fucking thing together, too. <sighs> Sorry. I was just, I don't know. I was, like, getting kind of frustrated because uh, things just weren't working out. You'll see what I'm talking about right now. So I'm, I'm thinking about what I want to do for a hard shelter. I'm kind of just thinking about, like, the zoo at my, uh, at my zoo, the giraffes, they have just a very, it's like kind of like a small, like a, it's not small, but it's like a oval building, and it's just really tall, and it has just one big ass swinging gate in the front, and then it has the little doors on the side for staff, but it's just a really large round building, and it has just one large swinging gate in the front, and that's it. So I was kind of thinking of something like that, just doing a really large building. And I was happy with the way this came out. You'll see right now I had windows and stuff. I thought it came out so good. But uh, but for some reason, the giraffes can't go in it. It's definitely tall enough and wide enough. I don't know why they can't go in it. But yeah, so I, I tried to build this nice little building for them. I ended up deleting this whole roof. I was like, that's way too tall. I don't like it. So I ended up deleting that whole roof. And then I deleted that wall in accident. And in doing so, after after putting in the new wall there, I was like, windows. Windows would make this look better. It wouldn't be so boxy, you know. So I, I do that right now. You'll see. I have stick drift, too. That's why shit's fucking up. But so I'm like, okay, windows could be a cool idea. Just really big fucking windows. <clears throat> so that's what I do. I get this large window frame. I put it down, and then I put the, the one-way glass in so that they don't get stressed out from the outside world in any way. 
when they're trying to sleep. And I thought this came out so good. I was so happy with the way this building came out. I was like, the glass looks good. The overall uh, layout of where the windows are looks good. <sighs> so sorry. I don't know why I keep yawning. I'm not even, like, tired. I, s I slept for a while. I just woke up. I'm not filming, like, super late at night like I usually do. I'm filming it pretty early in the day. Well, not early, but it's, like, 2 o'clock now. Oh, my God, never mind. It's 4 o'clock. Jesus. Um, yeah, I guess time flies, I guess, dude. It's already 4 o'clock. That's nuts. But yeah, I was like, okay. I was like super, I was super, super happy with the way the building came out. And they just, for for some reason, they just straight up could not go in there. I, I like, I don't know what the issue is at all. They just could not go in there. It sucked. I even put like trim on the roof. Like right here, I was like looking at the little roof pieces. This is just the gutters and like some that shit. And then the other one has like actual trim pieces. So I go over there, look at these trim pieces. I'm like, okay, I can do something with these. These are cool. Put I put a nice little trim around the whole fucking building. Not this one. But I put a nice little trim around the whole building. Just a nice little lip, you know. Make the building look nice. Add some fucking bushes around the bottom of the building. You know, it looked good. It looked real nice. I ended up having to use a fucking prefab because I, I don't want to sit here trying to figure out how tall I need to make it or how open it has to be. So I just use a fucking prefab. Which sucks, because I'm trying to stay away from those prefabs, because then everything's going to look too similar way too quick. But I don't know, It's it, it's when it comes to stuff like this, after I build a whole building and shit, and then I have to delete it, it just sucks. <sighs> oh, shit. But yeah, it just sucks when you build a whole building and then have to fucking delete it, so you don't want to... Sit there building another one and it possibly not working. Because I did... That's the only reason I didn't even try to fuck with it. Is because I didn't know if the issue was... It not being tall enough. Or if it not being uh, wide enough. I didn't know what the issue was. Because it looked tall enough and looked wide enough. So... But yeah, so now I'm doing the pond. Because I'm a fucking basic bitch that I do to every enclosure. Just doing a pond and a... Uh, What's it called? Um, smoothing out the edges now, so that if they do want to get in the water, they can. But yeah, just putting that down. Check in, because I didn't have a female yet. Found a decent female, for still, I mean, a shit ton of money. But found a female, which was nice, because I looked like two or three times earlier, and I could not find a female anywhere at all. So, finding one was nice. Because I, I legit scrolled for probably 30 minutes and it was like two males popped up in that 30 minute time. I had to put fucking trash cans in here because these guys are pieces of shit. There's trash cans literally at both entrances and over by the fucking food court section. They're just throwing trash right here in the middle. Look how many trash cans are over there. There's like six. And then there's two by the front door. And they literally littered right in front of them. It's fucking bullshit, dude. I don't get it. But, so yeah, I got, got the drafts. Shit was, like, glitching out, fucking taking forever, not working. This shit glitched out, like, multiple times here, too. Well, I, I don't even know if it's glitches. I just think it might be me not understanding uh, mechanics. But, like, I look, right? So I click on them. I click on them, okay? That's the thing, too. I click on the fucking giraffe right now. It says it has 100% hard shelter. It says it has 100% hard shelter. And then, for some reason, they just don't have it anymore. It just it randomly fucking happens. I don't know why. So, this is me doing the bridge. I was going to do the bridge the whole way through the enclosure. Um, that was a no-no. Because if I want it low enough for people to actually be able to see in there, the giraffes can't get across. So they're stuck on that one side. So. I did not do the bridge. Uh, all the way through. I only did it halfway through. As like a little platform to look down on. You know. Basically like that. But, but yeah I did this whole bridge. Fuck it. They, that was pointless. Because they legit. They just can't go under. It's too, it's too short. So it cuts off the rest of the. Uh, 
the enclosure. <clears throat> Which sucked, because... I don't know, dude. I, I Like, I tried to make this enclosure really good, and... Just for one reason or another, different game mechanics were just fucking it up. So, I mean, it is what it is, whatever. But it, it still was a little rough. But, yeah, I was like, what the fuck? No hard shelter now? Really? Why? And then, they ca the space calculated, and it was super low. I'm like, okay, they just can't get over there. So I do this real quick, because they need fucking soil and shit. So I start putting soil down. Currently not realizing that the problem is the fucking bridge. <laughs> I didn't realize it until like fucking, what, like five, ten minutes later that the bridge was the issue. <sighs> but just throwing soil everywhere so that they're happy. <sighs> Wait, see, their hard shelter is at 100%. That's why I was like, okay. But I, I, I might have been the bridge, actually, that was the hard shelter. Wait, is that how that works? Does the bridge count as a hard shelter? <laughs> but see, I expanded the fucking barrier. And I ended up deleting all of this. Because there was just no reason to have it. But uh, I thought that was the issue initially. Was the actual closure was just too small. But I'm pretty sure it was the bridge. Because I go back and delete the bridge. And, delete, and I put this barrier back up. And it fixes itself, so... Because see right there, it says that it, it was still the same. So I was like, okay, it definitely has to be the bridge then. They definitely just can't get through. And then you see how it says zero hard shelter now? Like what? The fuck are you talking about? But yeah, so I just got to fix that. Fucking put the barrier back how it was initially. Uh, and then, yeah, I got to delete all this. Because there's no reason for it to be there now. And then now I'm just like, okay, I'll just do the platform, whatever. Boom. Done. <laughs> okay? Easy. But I'm noticing they still have no hard shelter. I'm like, what the fuck? What the fuck, dude? And then I'm sitting here for... Shit, I probably sat here for like 10 minutes just like, what the fuck? Looking at the tra traverse, uh, the traversable map and shit. It says that they just can't get in there. Don't know why. I ignore it for now, because I'm like, uh, it's probably, it'll probably fix itself. Because it, it's done that before, where it'll just glitch and say that they don't have hard shelter, even though they do. And then usually all I have to do is go to the main menu and come back and it'll fix itself. Uh, this was not the case for this one, so I don't, I don't know. <clears throat> but you could literally look at the drafts, look at the, look at the hard shelter. It's clearly wide enough and tall enough. I don't know what the issue was at all. I threw grass everywhere. I kind of regret it, but pff, it's, it's already done. <laughs> but I threw it everywhere because I was like, ah, it'll make it look a little bit more natural, you know, because you got to think, nature's random. That's why I randomly threw grass around. And then I put this bush because like, ah, I was like, I like that. I like that over the wood and stuff. It looks good. <sighs> it doesn't matter anyway. You'll see right now what the fuck I'm talking about. <laughs> I literally, I'm so sad. <laughs> Cause that hard shelter would have been cool. Um, and then yeah, now I'm gonna throw just some rocks around too to make it seem a little more natural. Uh, rocks by the water always just make the water immediately look better too. So, and then yeah, I just throw some rocks around just to have like boulders throughout the enclosure. Again, it's a little more natural. I didn't realize, though, that these fuckers can't walk, like, five feet around these fucking rocks. They just can't. I don't know what their fucking issue is. I don't know if it's their long, dumb fucking legs or what, but they just cannot walk by them. And then now I'm just seeing what I have enrichment-wise. <laughs> That's not much. So I put down their feeder, because obviously they gotta eat. Um, scratch posts, sprinklers, some heaters. Because it snows. We literally have a blizzard in the middle of building this right now, too. And then I'm like, okay, cool. They still don't have a fucking hard shelter. So I go and I just delete it. I initially tried to fix it. I was like, okay, maybe it's the... Uh, 
Maybe it's the bedding in front that's blocking it. So it's like, okay, maybe I'll, I'll delete the bedding at the door. It doesn't affect anything. I'm like, okay, maybe if I just raise it out of the ground a little bit, it'll work. It does nothing. Uh, I don't know, dude. <laughs> but yeah, that sucked because I thought that looked really good. I was like, it doesn't take up too much space. It looks nice. You'll see right now, the new one we put in takes up the entire fucking enclosure. <laughs> But yeah, see, I raised it up a little bit because I was like, maybe it's a height thing. If I do it just enough, maybe it'll work and then I could fix it. But no, so I'm like, okay, whatever. And then, as you see, I sit here and I close the fucking game and go to the main menu. Because that usually works. I didn't realize either when I was recording this. This main menu is like fucking five minutes. <laughs> It was the longest shit ever just to go to the main menu. I'm not even loading anything. I'm leaving. I'm closing the game. And I was literally in the main menu for like five minutes. This game, it's so weird. Because like sometimes I'll play this game and I'll run fine. But like today, it ran like shit when I filmed this video. And then, oh, what video was it? I want to say it was the Sun Bears or the Bengal Tigers. One of them. The fucking game ran like shit that entire time, dude. It was like no frames. Well, there was no frames for the Bengal Tigers because of the waterfall, but that was it. But there's no frames. Uh, the game just wouldn't load good, and uh, t like mechanics weren't working. Like the game, like just it literally just wasn't working. That's the best way to describe it. Things weren't working as intended. Nothing was doing what it should do. You know. Like mechanics, they just weren't working, and I kept calling them, and they weren't doing anything. That's happened multiple times in the middle of filming. So, but yeah, still doesn't work. I was like, okay, whatever, delete it. And then I'm like, just looking through these because I'm like, I want to use a small one. I put this one down. They can't go in it. <laughs> it's too small. So I was like, okay. Um, and then I got the idea to uh, filter it to them. And then I end up using this big-ass fucking piece of shit. Which I'm now realizing I didn't move that tree. We're going to have to do that right now when we go back in the game. I need to move it a little more to the left so that it's not fucking hitting the uh, hard shelter. But, uh, yeah, I end up going with that fucking big one, which sucks, dude, so much. But yeah, I filter it to see what which ones that they can actually use. And they're all just big. They're all big and ugly. So I end up doing this one because I'm like, I like the thatch roof, whatever. I think it's way too fucking tall. <laughs> but, like, that's the worst thing about this game, too. The, uh... Um... The... Fuck it. God damn it, I'm trying to think of the word. Like the, like the measurements. The, uh... The perspective or whatever. Scale. The scale. The the scale of things in this game is crazy. Because, <clears throat> like, that giraffe's, like, 20 feet tall. Whatever, right? Not 20. Uh, this one's probably, like, 15 feet tall. But, <clears throat> you, but like, the heart shelter's, like, fucking 50 feet tall. Like, What? Why the fuck is it so tall? To be fair, now that I think about it, though, the, zoo, the one at my zoo, it's probably double the size in terms of height of the giraffes. And I know giraffes are fucking weird, so maybe they need to have a big one because they're fucking weirdos. I don't know. But yeah, in the middle of fucking blizzard, so can't fucking see shit. But put it on my education and my bins and stuff, and then find out that I don't have power over here, which is dope. So we gotta put the transformer down, which is, uh, whatever, it's fine. It just sucks, though, because the transformer literally only covers this one habitat. So, yeah. But yeah, right here, I just extend this staff path down and put transformers and water treatment and all that on it. But... Dude, I was, like, having a fucking stroke trying to do this, too. I kept putting down an asphalt path. I don't know, dude. I was struggling here big time. 
I don't know what the fuck the issue was. And then it's just not straight at all. I don't I don't know what was happening, okay? But I'm putting down I put down a solar panel, but then I found out that its range is just dog shit. So I end up getting rid of the solar panel. Well, I leave the solar panel, but I have to put a transformer down too. But yeah, the range of the solar panel is like not big at all. Not 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 even close. But put down water treatment, water uh, temp, and then uh, I go and look at the fucking heat map for power, and it's just way too. <laughs> See, like how small the area is for solar panels. I don't get it. The transformers are huge too. Like <laughs> they're just massive. So I'll put a transformer down, and then I go to my blueprints, and I get the uh, African Walls X2 that we built. Put it over the water stuff so that they're good to go. <clears throat> and then I have to add all this to a work zone, uh, which I do eventually at some point. Um, now I'm doing the uh, speakers. Because these peoples are fucking pussies. If, dude, if they don't have... Like, I still don't have enough education. I put education everywhere, so... I don't know how to increase it at all. But, yep. Yeah, just throwing down speakers everywhere. Uh, they... they, I don't know. They don't even fucking do anything half the time. And then I gotta put down dono bins, because I forgot. <clears throat> Because the donation bins are literally where we get most our money. <laughs> like, I'm not even kidding. Most our money comes from donation bins. And then I went over here because I was like, I don't remember putting any down. There's some across the way from the Sun Bear, so I just left it. And then, yeah, and then I'm just kind of sitting here waiting for the fucking blizzard to stop so I could see. I should have ended the recording sooner, but... Yeah, I'm just literally, like, waiting to be able to see stuff, because I can't see anything. But yeah, the the enclosure, it came out alright. I'm fucking pissed that I had to use that hard shelter. But, it is what it is. Uh, let's go into the game and take a look at everything a little closer and talk about what's next. All right, guys, and this is the finished enclosure. Got our two drafts there. Got the nice little pond. Got the stupid fucking hard shelter that I'm so pissed that I had to put down. Oh, this controller has stick drift too. Cool. I got a different controller because I was like, hey, uh, everything has stick drift. So I was like, okay, let me switch controllers real quick. This one also has stick drift. There we go. But yeah, there's a stupid hard shelter you had to do. But, I mean, the enclosure overall, it came out good. Uh, I'm just a little sad about the hard shelter being the way it is. That's like my only issue with this uh, enclosure is this hard shelter. Which, it doesn't even look bad. Like, it just pissed me off though, still. We got a four star, dude. Why? How did I get a four star if everything's five stars? That doesn't even make sense. Yeah, it, it, it's a good looking enclosure, though. I'm pissed about the fucking hard shelter. But the enclosure came out good. The animals are happy. That's all that really matters. We're getting money still. That's all that matters. We're at five stars. Energy, hunger, thirst. Yeah, we're gonna do a new another food court. Um, I think after this. So we're gonna do the lions, and I think the other food court's gonna go right here. Uh, but I think we're gonna do an actual restaurant. Um. So next episode. 
We're gonna do the African wild dogs because these are a lot cheaper to do, uh, and it'll be a fairly short video probably because this is an easy fix. I'm just gonna fix this up and. I, I mean, that's really it for the most part. Fix the hard shelter up. I might add a pond just because I do like the look of the natural water rather than the fucking uh, water pipe. But I'm not sure yet. I'll probably just leave the water pipe, actually. Yeah. I'll just leave the water pipe. But we'll, we'll go through. We'll do this. I'll re-put down plants because, like, this fucking corner is just stupid looking. This is like a terrible position to put a big bush like that. So we'll we'll redo everything for the most part. And we'll restock it with new African wild dogs. And then we'll see what happens after that. If we ha if we can get lions, we will. I just don't see it happening anytime soon cuz they are just very expensive. I'll show you. They 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 are just super super expensive. So I don't see lions being an actual option for a while but see they're they're 800 a piece 1200 1600 right there for one with decent stats like that one's 1100 and it has no fertility like that one's 17 but that one's good for 17 actually but see like i get this mail but thing is too these fucking guys only live for 14 years that's the life expense expectancy so it's just it's rough but I gotta get a male and a female. Which, like, that's a good price for a male. But I don't want him to sit in the trade center forever because I'm pretty sure they age. And then females, I mean, look at that. That's a piece of shit female. And she's, like, grand. So, I don't know. It's gonna be rough. This one's not bad, actually, for 451. This one's pretty good. Fuck, this one's really good. I don't know, though. But, yeah, so... That's the zoo right now. Um, again, it's still going good. It looks good and everything. But, we'll just have to see. So, next episode, African Wild Dogs. We'll refurbish this a little bit. Make it look a little nicer. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do yet. But, we'll see. And then... Hopefully we can do the lions. Hopefully. We'll see. But the lions would be my next uh, goal. And then... And yeah, I don't know. Uh, pro I don't know. I don't know. That's, I'm really struggling to kind of think of what animals I want to do. Because I know I want to do like a raid, orangutans or bonobos or whatever the fuck they were. So, I don't know. I'm enjoying our zoo though. I really like the way it looks so far. It looks real good. It looks like a proper zoo. <laughs> Which is nice. But yeah. So, next episode, African Wild Dogs. Episode after that, hopefully lions. We'll see. Uh, if not, we'll go around and we'll fix up the zoo for an episode like I was talking about. But, um, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Planet Zoo. If you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Comment down below what you guys want to see on the channel in the future. And I'll see you guys very soon in the next one. Stay safe out there. And peace out, guys.